problems or math sentence or picture. Before you could do any of that, what did you have to do? Read the problem. Yes. Pick up your pencil. This is your example that you get to use every time you do notebook. The very first thing I did is I read the problem. Yes, you need to write that right now. Now I want you to think about why did we have to read the problem? Why? Give me a thumbs up right here when you have an idea of why it would be important to read the problem. Natalia, why? is not specific enough for math. What might you draw instead of a picture? Or what type of picture would you draw? What kind of picture? You might draw an equation, okay? What else might you draw? A model. A model. I like that word model. That's a good math word. What else might you draw? An array. array, absolutely. 
What else might you draw? Say it loud. A number bond, yes. What I would like you to do is pick up your pencil. I want you to write down two kinds of pictures that you think you might draw. Write down two examples. Maybe you like arrays and number bonds. Maybe you like groups. I draw a picture? No, you're going to write the words. Instead of picture, what type of picture do you think you might use? You're going to write down two of them. After your pencil is down, I want you to think. Why do we draw arrays, models, number bonds, equations? Why do we draw those things? Why do we draw those things? What do you think, Emily? Understand? Don't write yet. Your pencils are down. <coughs> And in math, we'll say understand the problem. <coughs> Why else might we draw something? You had an idea, right? No? Did she steal your idea? You had the same brain? No? Okay. What? Well, what is it? Oh, you didn't think of one. You guys have an idea over there? Why would we draw an equation, or a number bond, or an array? Why would we draw something? So we can figure out the number sentence, okay? What else? We can learn the total. Why would we know the total? Why would we need to know that? So we would need to figure out the groups, the size, and the total, right? Okay. Out of these, choose one. Write down your favorite one. Which one is your favorite? And write it down. Pencil down, you got it. We're going to start thinking about after you draw a picture, what do we do next? We usually have to do something, right Emiliano? What do we do next after we draw something? What do you think, Emily? What do we do next? Make the equation? We often, instead of make, we would say write. We need to be specific, but I like that you use the word equation. That's a good math term. So we write the equation. Why would we write an equation? Why do you think? Um, yeah. Natalie, Natalia, Natalia, why would we write an equation? So, we get stuck with something, and we can use it in the So, to help us not be stuck? Why else might we write an equation? Why else might we write Mathematicians, 
we write an equation so that we can show the math. You know what? Sometimes we say the math way, but we're not going to use the word way because we want to be specific. So we show the math. This is a big word. Rep. Show the math representation. We represent or we show in the math way. So you may pick up your pencil, write down those two squares. to do? We need to do what, Maniku? We did write an equation, but now we need to do what? I don't know if we're finding the total, but we need to answer something. What do we need to answer? Yes. So we're answering what? The community, the total, it might be the number of groups, depending on the question. So we need to answer the equation, equation or the problem. the problem. We need to answer the question. If we don't answer the question, then we haven't really found a solution, have we? Answered the Question. We have to answer the question. Yes. But there is a specific math word for answer. When we talk about an answer in math, there is a math word that we use. Do you know what it is, Jordan? What's that? Quotient. Quotient. It could be a quotient. That's when we divide, we find the answer. Good. What else, Roberto? It could be a total, could be a product, it could be a sum, we want to show the solution, yes, very good, when we answer a question in math, we show the solution. And I love that you use the math words of sum and total and quotient and product.